Yo, it's Elut, and welcome back to my forced units only hard mode run of Radiant Dawn. We are at the end game of part one. Pretty cool. Uh, although, this will be a little harder than a normal end game because the only units we are allowed are Soth, Volog, and Micaiah. Um, normally, uh, this map is kind of balanced around having like. The Black Knight, Nyla, Marum, maybe all three, maybe a trained up Jill, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and a dancer, of course, but we get none of that. Uh, so the first thing we do here is I'm making sure that uh, Ilyana, specifically, has an inventory that is ready for delivery to the Grail Mercenaries. Uh, we've already given her a few things, uh, but we give her a few more things here. So she has two gems for money, the Asher icon for luck or money, um, some good swords, and then right now we're taking Celerity back off of Volug to give to her as well. Because no one here really needs Celerity. Um, it would be useful in this map, but no other Dawn Brigade chapters, Celerity is not really needed so much. Um, so I found it more useful giving it to the Grail Mercs. Um, and then we also give a pure water too, because Ike will need that when he cannot buy that from the shop. Uh, we forge another knife with max might for Soth. Um, <laughs> as, uh, as per usual, we name it Ike's Child, because that shit is funny to me. And then uh, Micaiah was like level 8, and we bonus XP'd her until she hit 18 magic, which was at level 14. Um, and the reason for that is because with the Thani Tome, she can perfectly kill some of these armor knights. And then Volug, I actually give the uh, energy drop here. As well as another Seraph Robe. Uh, the reason for that is no one really needs an energy drop. Like, even Soth wouldn't get much use out of it. His strength is probably pretty close to capping, and he won't promote for a long time. Um, so these first few turns here are actually pretty planned out. Uh, I, I did a lot of testing in this, and these first few are like just kind of like clockwork. Um, so Soth is in support range with Micaiah. He kills uh, the soldier there, and then aggros this Myrmidon. And then Volog will kill the fighter, and then he will aggro that lower archer there. And the reason we put him there is so that when someone attacks the archer, they're not like right below a ledge. Um, so that spot is kind of important. And then here, with Soth support, Micaiah perfectly one-shots this guy. Perfectly. So that was important to have that 18 magic. Um, and then after that we can move Soth, kill an archer. And then from here is where my original plan or original tests kind of deviate. Uh, what I was doing was actually moving Volug up because he has pass right next to the second archer and just healing. Um, and that would leave him safe from the mage above because the thief on the next ledge up would block off that option. Uh, but basically... Long story short, uh, the thing I ran into was uh, Volug just, he kind of gets hit by everything. And I was also trying to find a way to beat the thieves, but the demand for fighting down here um, kind of needs Soth and Micaiah. It's not like Micaiah's going to do it herself. And Volug just, uh, he just, he just can't, he can't do too much. Like he, I, I overextended with him because I tried to see how far I could push it. Um, but I decided from here on out just to play it a little safer. And then you see now Volug is not doubling people that you think he would double which is unfortunate. Uh, but the energy drop here, I actually think is worth it on him since I don't really need it for anybody else uh, because it does let him more consistently one-shot these mages, which is a plus. 
The sort of downside uh, to what I was trying to do in other attempts was even after the energy drop, he's not one-shotting any of the thieves, which is kind of bad because he also doesn't double them. So even if I were to catch up to them, I would have to waste several turns trying to kill them with him because he has passed. He's the only one that's going to get up there fast enough. Um, but then when I would do that, I would either have to attack, and then that means I can't heal, or I would have to heal, and that means I can't attack, and it would just, it just wouldn't really add up. So, in all honesty, I'm not entirely proud of this. Um, I, I tried a lot of different things, but I think in the end it's better to just, you know, play it smart, so it's not to have to redo it like a million times. Um, but in reality, there's really nothing in the chest here that we actually need. There's a few good things, like there's a speed wing, and there's a vantage scroll, um, and then there is a parody scroll, too, which actually isn't bad. But, uh, I just, I decided to forego it. The only one I would, like, maybe want is, like, the speed wing or something, but... It wouldn't even be for this crew, it would be for the Grail Mercenaries, and there's no way for me to get that Speedwing and give it to Ilyana before she leaves, so that wouldn't even help me there so much. So I just decided to forego it. And then I'm just counting ranges here. It's, it's not worth it, because these mages are going to double Makaya. One won't kill her, but both of them will. And then there's a Speedwing. Goodbye, Speedwing. Parody, yeah. It's, it's rough. It kind of sucks, but... The farther I would send Volag up there, the the more difficult it would get. Because, like, not only is he getting hit by actually everything, like, his avoid is just it's just not cutting it for that kind of uh, playstyle, expectation, whatever you want to call it. But then also there's, like, a Killing Edge guy up there. There's, like, some Longbow guys. There's a Meteor Tome. Like, there's just, there's just no way for him to do it alone. And then at the same time, there's no way for me to get, like, Soth up there as fast as he can get up there to catch the thieves. So I can only give one pass, unfortunately. And I believe that's, yeah, vantage. And I think he probably only doubles that Myrmidon because he had a Steel Blade. It's probably too heavy for him. But, uh, he's not, he's not doubling most other things. Like, he's not doubling, like, some of the fighters. Uh, you saw earlier he wasn't doubling a soldier. Alright, and then here, I believe we set up uh, Mikhaev to kill that Armor Knight on the next turn, because he is kind of beefy. And she, like, barely one-shots him, too, even with support, which, again, the whole 18 magic thing helps out a lot. 
Because this is without support. She doesn't do it. She's one off. But I, I hold off simply because if I go Soth up there first, he can either heal, which means he can't shove Micaiah back because the mages again will double her, uh, or um, she has to attack not in support range, which wouldn't kill anyways. So we do it now. And then he can one-shot a mage, which is nice. The other one's a fire mage, but... I mean, that's 17 damage out of the way, so I'll take that. Unfortunate miss, but that's okay. Um, but there's a longbow archer up on the top there, uh, which can be really, really annoying with the ledge mechanic, because that's like plus 50 hit for him. Um, so we avoid that by standing in the spot that Soth is at. Again, without the energy drop, he would not be one-shotting him. the killing edge too which proved to be a problem in uh, earlier attempts when trying to chase the thieves and I think I do still move soft up there and shoot down from the ledge Goodbye, Ike's second child. <laughs> and I think we just take a breather turn here. She caps magic, which, I mean, it's really all she needs to do. That's the only thing I need from her is high magic. Not really much else. Yeah, and then we, we kind of take it slowish from here on out. You know, as if we, as if we were playing Omega Fest earlier, but... Um, as we start to bait some of these meteors, that way we have a bit more breathing room. So here's one coming in.
But yeah, so there's a meteor up there, like I said. There's two longbow archers who actually can attack Volok from where he is right now. Um, and then as soon as you go up one of the ledges, there's, I believe, four armor knights that come out from where Jared is. Or maybe, no, I think it's three, because there's one already there. I believe it's three. But yeah, that, that dude hits 33 on Volog, so... We, uh, we want to we wanna bait that out if we can. But we take it around the right side for a bit. Yeah, those longbow archers, they, uh, they hit something nasty. It's actually mad annoying. I think one more and they'll start to move. I guess the good part about this is we really don't have trouble killing things. It's the issue is that everybody's hit rate is high, so it's hard to like juggernaut, at least with these guys. Soth could like do it a little more, I think. Because Volog's avoid is just it's just not cutting it anymore, which is fine, because this is his retirement map. He deserves it, you know, he earned it, but can be kind of rough. And then there are the three additional armor knights. And they'll start to walk down toward us, too. He can take these. He's out of media range right now. Otherwise, he would pretty much be dead. And this is kind of still going with the slow burn strategy here, which is kind of lame, I'll admit, but they they just they hit hard enough to where I, at this point I was like, nah, I don't feel like playing this again, man. That'd be, that'd be too annoying. But we get some uh, extra Makaya XP if we can. That's a cringe miss there, but we can just shove her back. So it's no big deal.
<laughs> but their movement is so bad they can't make it down the ledge, which is kind of funny. And he still can't make it down. Oh, God. <laughs> These freaking Armor Knights, man. What a stupid class. Alright. So that Meteor Mage has three more casts left, I believe. So we have to be a little wary of that for a bit, but we can move up a little bit. Um, and then the mages by Jared actually won't move um, unless you attack them. I've seen them move because if you attack them and don't kill them, they'll move to heal. Um, and they trade Jared for his concoction, which is actually kind of nice. Because uh, that keeps him from healing. Goodness, and then there should be one more. I think we just pretty much wait with Soth, let him take the last one. The Volg really is an HP tank in this map. Oh my god. Alright, so he's done. One shot moment, goodbye. So just Jared left, 
Uh, he has a very small chance of crit on Volhug, literally one. Um, so we just put Micaiah in support range of Soth. Heal him up a bit. Man, just checking damages here. But Soth does not get two shot. And cancel is always nice. And then I do this... Thinking that he might go for Volug instead of healing, because he has a concoction, which he does. Um, and that means we can actually just kill him, which is nice. So yeah, that's a wrap for part one. Um, that 45 turn count is kind of gross, I won't lie, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, respect to Volug, because we won't ever see him again. Micaiah promotion. You know, pretty alright. It's alright. Uh, but yeah. So that's the end of part one. Thank you for watching. I will see you in part two. Peace out.